Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to make over a few items because um, I need them for a window display uh, that I have that's needing some attention. And we're going to start with this picnic table. And as you can see, this pressed wood on the lid here is has some, I guess, moisture damage. So all I had to do to fix that was just take some sandpaper and and go over that and it smoothed it right out. Now I decided for my window display because I've sold so much out of that window that it, it kind of doesn't seem like it has any kind of a look now and definitely not, not a good color scheme. So uh, I needed to kind of start from scratch. And um, I like this farmhouse green that I used in a recent video. And this is a Dixie Belle color. But I just like how fresh it is, and uh, it pairs well with the white and black, and it just gives a lot of contrast, and I need that for the window to show up from the outside well. And uh, this basket weave is really hard to cover when you're brushing it on, so all I do is just put, uh, put some on real quickly, and then just mist some water over it, and it helps it thins it enough to settle down into that. I do that on the first coat and then I go back over the second coat without watering it down. And now I'm using the color cotton for the lid and I paint the top and inside of this lid. And, and then I also paint these handles. Now I guess I could have painted these handles black, uh, but I thought I wanted the white here. So I'll give them a couple of coats and uh, you just kind of have to be a little tedious with these. Uh, but, um, I'll paint the inside uh, underneath on these handles and uh, and then obviously on the top. And now it's ready for uh, some um, grain sack striping because I do love to use that. And uh, if you think that I'm using scotch tape here, you would be right because I couldn't find, uh, I was out of the masking tape that I usually use. Um, and I had some wider, but I don't want the wider stripes here. So uh, I am experimenting here with scotch tape. And as you can see, it's really hard to work with. Uh, but I just thought I would try it. My, I have my paint good and dry. And I like to experiment to see what works because sometimes we don't have all of our supplies that we need. And... Uh, so I'm just starting with that piece in the center, and that's going to be the width of the stripe that I want. And then I'm putting one right down each side of that. And then I'll pull that middle, that first one uh, up, and that will be a stencil for me to paint my first stripe on. And it'll make sense when I start painting. I know it's really hard to see this scotch tape, uh, but that's what I had to use here. And as it turned out, it worked just fine. Like I said, it was a lot more difficult to work with when I was taping it down. Uh, but, and obviously it's harder to see where you have it placed, but it really did work just fine. So I just uh, paint this in black and I don't bother uh, doing two coats on this because I don't want it to be a really dark black. I just want some contrast here. And I feel like this, this grain sack stripe looks better if it looks a little distressed anyway. And if you don't know how to do this grain sack striping, uh, you're not going to see here what I'm doing that well because I'm using this uh, scotch tape. But uh, I'll show you more in detail on another item that I'll be doing in this same video because I, I did go out and get some of the right tape for that. So uh, I usually use the Dollar Tree masking tape. And now I've cut a piece of um, plywood uh, in the shape that I, or in the size that I want uh, to put the word picnic on here. And I'm using my, um, my, typesetting stamps and I'm also using the lower case uh, but I just wanted to be able to fit the word picnic on this so I cut it now you don't have to have this board at all uh, you could even 
Uh, if you don't want to have to use a saw, you could uh, cut a piece of drop cloth and just glue that right onto the front of your basket. Uh, but here, I just wanted this instead and, and did this. Uh, but there's a number of things that you could do instead of this. Obviously, you don't have to put a word on it at all anyway. But like I said, if you, if you want the word, just put you some drop cloth on there. And uh, you might even put some drop cloth on it and then um, glue that on and then take uh, maybe something that looks like a tack and tack it in all four corners that would be a, a neat look but um, here i'm just doing the board because i'm just going to use these little top setting stamps and then i drill a hole in um, in the top two corners of this board and i just wire that on uh, to my basket so i put the wire in one side from the front and go through the basket and pull it back th through the basket into the other hole and i leave just a little bit of wire there and just kind of curl that wire and that's how i hold this on but again you could use twine here or uh, you know just whatever you want to attach it with you could even take a wide piece of ribbon and wrap it around the whole basket and glue that to it uh, but this is just the look that I wanted here, so uh, that's all I'm going to be doing to this basket. And now I thrifted this, and this is a new wooden, um, I guess it's a caddy. I don't really know what you call it, uh, but it's new, and it's the raw wood, uh, so it's a good clean slate for me to work with here. Uh, but because I want some distressing on this, then I'm going to give it a coat of uh, black first. And any black will do here. I, I just happen to be using the Dixie Belle Caviar, but any black will do. We just want a dark, uh, and in this case, I do want black uh, to distress to. I wouldn't have had to paint the inside of this because you really don't have to distress the inside. I do a little bit, but... I, I wouldn't say that it made enough difference to really do that, so it was probably not necessary for me to paint the inside. And I just I just use one coat on this because, like I said, I just want some of that black to come through when I do my distressing. And it's okay if some of the wood comes through also, but I do want to see some of that black. And then after I let that dry well, then um, I go over this with two coats of the color cotton and that's just a, kind of a soft white color and the same color that I used on the lid of the picnic basket now these are just a few items that I'm going to be adding to that vignette I already had some uh, done some that I had done in previous videos and some that I just had in my store already that I had done earlier um, that I'm going to be putting into this window display and um, I can't really do that uh, on video because my window is just real hard to get into um, and it's kind of hard to see from the outside what I'm doing anyway so I'm just going to be showing you the finished window uh, when I get it all put together so once I get this little caddy or bucket or whatever you call it uh, painted and uh, a couple of coats and let it dry well uh, then I'm just going to use this little stencil on it I just found one that had a farmhouse look because this is going to be a farmhouse style window and uh, now I'm just taping that stencil on there so that I can add a stencil to the front of this and I'm just going to use the black here now, I forgot to mention with the picnic basket, and I'll also be doing it with this item, is when I get it all finished, I took it outside and sprayed it with a polycrylic clear coat. And I could have used uh, clear wax on that or any kind of uh, clear spray, or I could have even brushed a uh, top coat of some kind on it. But you just want to get that chalk paint sealed because... Um, it'll accept stains and can be removed if it isn't sealed first so just seal it with something and now for my next item this was a table that a friend of mine Misty 
uh, gave me, and she brought me lots of items that some that she had started and not finished, and some that she just had in her way, but she is a crafter and did such a wonderful job on some of the things. I put them straight out, uh, but that was just so sweet of her. I tried to pay her, and she wouldn't let me, um, but here I am putting um, the product Boss. This is a Dixie Bell product that is a stain blocker because this uh, this table had, uh, you could tell it had gotten a little weather, so uh, it was kind of porous. So I knew that if I didn't add some sort of stain blocker or clear coat or something that I would have some bleeding. So I just went ahead and gave it a coat of that all over. And now I'm using the color farmhouse again, and or farmhouse green rather. And I'm giving this two coats on the legs and the bottom two shelves. And then that little area there right underneath the top shelf. And once I get a couple of coats on this, uh, then I'll uh, flip it over and do the top in the color cotton. And I think that that will update this table a lot. Uh, but although this looked shabby, it was in very good condition and uh, a good solid table. So um, what looked like it was unsellable, you know, if you, if you really check into these pieces and you look at the bones of them and if they're good and solid and they're really not badly damaged, you can really, really change them up and save them. I actually have several items in my home that uh, most people would have thrown thrown out, uh, but I know that there's hope for them, and I enjoy um, saving them. So like I said, once I give this um, bottom two coats of this uh, farmhouse green, and I go ahead and do the shelves as well, then um, um, move on to the top and do that in the color cotton. And um, it covers really well and I don't have any bleed through with that white, which was especially where I would see that if I hadn't uh, used a blocker on, a stain blocker on it. So like I said, two coats of the color cotton and then that gives this uh, table a crisp new look. and. Now, I'm going to add, this is the item that I'm going to do the grain uh, striping on again. Now, with this table, uh, I decide that I want a little larger stripe, a little wider stripe. So, I use a little thicker uh, or a little wider uh, masking tape on this one. So, once this dries well, um, and you do need to let it dry well, I go, uh, I used a strip of this masking tape right down the center. Now that's going to be the width of my first stripe. Then I take another piece, and this is the more narrow tape, and but it right up next to that. Then when I take that center piece of tape off, that's going to give me my stencil for my first stripe. And then once that dries, then I'm going to take uh, two more pieces of that narrow uh, tape and I'm going to tape right up next to the side of that stripe because I want that much of a space between that larger stripe there and my next stripe, which is I'm just kind of creating the width that I want it here, as you can see. And there's my next stencil. And then I just, um, I just, uh, stencil that on there and pull it off and there are my stripes. Now you could go on with two more stripes if you wanted, but this was enough for me. And then I decided that with this one I wanted to add a little, uh, another little stencil to the center so that I could add this black in. So this is kind of a farmhouse design, so I just decide on this one. You could use any one that you want. Uh, most of my stencils I purchased from Amazon. I just go on Amazon and put in stencils and craft stencils and uh, I just pick out the ones I want. So that's how I find most of my stencils. 
and they're not most of them are not any particular brand like i said i just go on there and search so amazon really has some good deals on stencils and i do find a few at hobby lobby but uh, most i buy from amazon and here is my window um, like i said it's just not a real big area so don't have uh, it was it would just be too hard for me to try to decorate it uh, on camera but there is my finished window, and I really like how those colors uh, stood out, mm -hmm. and it'll show well from the road. I have to redo these windows pretty often because uh, they get sold out of, and that's the first thing people see, so I don't like to let them get too bad. Sometimes I let them get worse than I would like to, but, um, but like I said, a lot of times I sell from these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.